Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Islanders. Uh, I played a little bit of this game on my own, and I had a lot of fun. I got a high score of 9663, actually, which is, amazingly, a pretty damn good online rank. Um, I'm, up, I'm up there with some of the best, I gotta say. I'm kind of a big deal. But yeah, we're going to start a new game. And uh, we're just going to, you know, we're going to play. Play it. And take it as we as it comes to us. All right, so we have a cutesy little island. Uh, there's also some stuff going on out here. We've got some smaller islands that we might be able to take advantage of, but we've got this main island here. And so let's have a look and see what we might start with. We've got a farming pack or a lumber pack. Well. If I go for the farming pack, I'm going to have a hard time finding a place to put a city. So I think the lumber pack works a little bit better here. And so how the game works basically is that uh, your placement of things generate a certain amount of points uh, based on the things that are nearby. For example, if I place this lumber bill on the beach, I get zero points. If I place it up here with the statue, it gets four points. And then if I bring it down into range of these trees, I get 12 points. And the only thing that matters is uh, what the score is when you actually place the object. So I kind of want to see if I can maximize the points of this by having it adjacent to the um, obelisk. Like right there. I can get nine points by placing the second one over here or I could get 10 by placing it adjacent and I, I always want to try to maximize how much score I get from each individual placement now there is potentially stuff like you can do uh, for optimization but in the case of this sawmill I'm going to tuck it into this corner because I want it to use up as little room as possible and now it's also in range of the statue and the two lumber mills which will give me enough points to uh, get another order of things so I could do a brewing pack uh, or a farming pack. And I kind of feel like the brewing pack is nice because you can put it down on the um, on the beach. So let's go ahead and do the brewing. Now I want to tuck this in nice and close here because my hope is that I'll be able to put a put a um, a tavern up here that'll be in range of the brewery at some point. So I'll put this here. So uh, I'm gonna actually normally I wouldn't place this first. But because I want it tucked into the corner, I'll place it first and then I'll place the barley fields afterwards. I'm going to tuck those in as close as possible. And you can see each barley field gains some extra points from being next to the uh, brewery and also the other barley fields. And it looks like uh, that barley pack actually came with some lumberjacks too. Uh, let's grab the city pack. We have another lumberjack. We have another two lumberjacks. So things can give you negative scores, so you need to keep an eye out for that. Uh, we can place the city center over here. I kind of want to do that. Do I want to place these? Like, it, it might actually be better for me to just not place these lumber mills. Uh, that's actually a thing that could be true. If I can find... There's a plus seven one, which is fine. And then I might be able to tuck one over here for plus nine. Can I get higher? Nine, it looks like it's the best I can do. So I'll just tuck it right in there. And then I can tuck a sawmill right here for plus 28. Which is truly excellent. And I got another hop field. There's a plus 15 one right there. And I guess I'll pick up the farming pack now. So first I'm going to place my city. And I definitely want it in range of this. So I'm going to just kind of tuck this right in the centralized area right there. Uh... We are going to grab ourselves a mansion and try to kind of wrap it around. I'm going to have the mansion-esque uh, area out here to the left. And then the regular houses kind of push out to the right. There's the first mansion. I want to try and tuck things as close 
to the uh, central obelisk as I can get them. So that way I maximize the number of things that benefit from being close to it. And when it comes to housing, things that are of the same type generally kind of give each other benefits. Uh, I'm going to pick up the shaman now. Say another hop field. And slide it in, maybe. Okay, if I just rotate a little bit, I might be able to get a slightly better one. There's a 17. So there's a 17 in this orientation. Very nice. All right. So now I've got to figure out where I'm going to put my farm. So I'll put these three farms there. I'll put my uh, <coughs> granary type deal a little bit closer. We'll tuck this in there. There. So now that's our little farm. Unfortunately, it did mean we got rid of the fours, but that just means we'll have a harder time placing new lumber mills. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the fountain, because the fountain is actually a really high value thing. For example, we could get plus 16. Now, if I remember correctly, do these get a boost from being near a fountain? So I could tuck that in right there, and it should provide benefits to all future houses that I place in range. Although it is technically a little bit better to place the mansions first, because the fountain actually has a larger range than the um than the other. Wait, there's a plus 16 right here if I tuck that in. Just kind of wedge those in. We have another field. Let's try to get some rotation going. Make room. All right. So now it's time to start placing the regular houses. But first, we are going to pick up the fisher. All right. Let's keep placing our mansions. We have a good mansion set up as far as I can tell right now. Tuck that in for plus seven. There's a plus 16 right there. It's only a plus four. Let's bring it back this way. There's a plus 12 right there. And then we'll start doing the regular houses. All right, nice. Uh, parks. Definitely need some parks. We could set up another city if we wanted to. Uh, potentially set it up over here. Which is probably not a terrible idea. I'll place this right. I'd say right here is good. I might fill out just a little bit more ho regular houses in here. Still a really good spot for houses. Put a park or two on the outskirts. You know, finding the exact place where something fits can be a little bit tough, especially on these sort of earlier levels where room is hard to find. But for example, this park might tuck in here somewhere. Parks are good near farms too, so that's something to keep in mind. Doesn't quite fit. Which is unfortunate. And this is actually negative because of all the uh, other stuff nearby. Let's try and tuck this right. That's not good enough. Let's get our fishery up. So we're going to place this fish fishery uh, within range. As, as Within range of all three of these things that give bonuses. But as far out as possible. Like right there. And we have a shaman as well. So what we want to look for are these sort of plus three guys. And we also want them to be away from the city center um, as well. So I'm thinking I could pop one up somewhere on this. Just tuck it into the corner. There's a plus 17 one right there. Let's go ahead and pick up another pack. Uh, let's grab the huts. And we've actually, we've completed this island. We, 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 could, we could move on to the next island, but I, I like to continue to play an island out. I like to like take it as far as I can. 
because I just you know, I really kind of enjoy that. All right. Uh, we have some more parks. Now I'm trying to remember: is it worth it? Let's see, field. Um, So it's actually, I think it's actually worth more if I place the park down first. So I'm going to tuck a park right there. And then I'm going to tuck, well, actually parks have kind of a bigger range. Nestle you in there. I've also got this hermit hut. That is quite good. It gets benefits from things like fishing huts. It gets benefits from the um, uh, city centers. It kind of loses some stuff from like the industrial buildings, but generally speaking, it, it, it gains a lot of points. So I, I can usually find somewhere nice to tuck it in where we can get a good set of points. So like this corner right here, plus 16. Here is a plus nine. Let's put a couple parks down. Let's go ahead and get another pack. I'm going to grab the tower because that's actually a really valuable one. And there is a spot for the tower in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I know there's like a little gap inside my town somewhere where the tower might fit. Which is nice. I could just put it here, for example. I could also put it up on the, uh, on the plateau up here. And it would get the benefit of both cities, but I think I'd like to find a nice little spot for it, like right, it's only 21. So I'll take the 22 right there. Let's put a couple more mansions. Wait a minute, there was like a 22 somewhere. Am I crazy? It's 14s. 14. We have another mill. I'm thinking if I tuck that mill right there, it'll get pretty good score. Let me unlock another um, pack of stuff. We've got the plateau in the warehouse. Let's grab the plateau. We can kind of talk about those. We got another lumber mill. They are not very good, but I can nestle it in a position where I'll get a little bit of benefit. Let's see if I can make it work. I can get, like, say, I'd like to really push it up against the wall. There's a plus six. Not amazing, but it still uh, does okay. Now, we can also place these plateaus. These plateaus are great um, because they essentially allow you to extend your civilization out onto the water. So what I might do is I'll place it, like, really close there. We've also got another barley field and another regular farm field that we could maybe tuck in around here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Excellent. We've also got another fisherman, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get in range of some good stuff, like right there. We've got regular houses. I could put regular houses up here. I feel like mansions fit a little bit better up on these things. It's a plus nine, so this is a plus 13, plus 14. I tuck a tower in, like right. I want to save the tower for later if I can get these points, because the tower is better when a town is a bit more developed. I'll slip you in there. We'll get a new thing. Let's grab the warehouse. Warehouse works really well with like industrial buildings. For example, uh, the lumber mills, uh, the granaries, and stuff like that. So I might be able to tuck this in over here where this fishing thing is, for example. I'll just get a decent amount of points from that. But first, let's pl place some mansions because um, I want to make sure I'm getting good value out of my tower. Let me tuck that in right there and right there. Place you right there. There's a 17 point tower now. 
Uh, sure, we'll do the 17 point tower. I often don't use parks as much as I should, maybe. It's a plus 10 park right there. And then a plus 10 park right there. And a plus 8 one. I could probably slip this plus this park in upstairs. There we go. 17. Uh, and I think the market is really, really good, but it's hard to find room for. The circus might be a little bit easier. Hmm. I might have just screwed myself with going for the circus. I'm going to tuck that in. It looks like... There's the plus 16 right there. There's a plus 8 circus here. want to make sure it's a little bit away from the city. I might want to place more houses first. I still think it's a good value to place this upstairs. There's a plus nine. Can I slip a park in here? Plus nine only. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Circus plus 36. Awesome. We have another field. We'll have a hard time placing this one. So it might be just one of those things that we slap down somewhere. Okay, let's grab the market. Now this will basically... If I could get it all the way up, like to here, if I could get the cliff stuff, maybe, it would work a lot better. Now, a fountain would work amazingly in here somewhere. There's a plus 34 fountain right there. Plus 33. Yeah, unfortunately, there's already a fountain up here. So I think the plus 34 fountain is, like, pretty decent. Uh, let's get some more of these mansions going. Okay, let's grab the resort oasis. We want to put this near as many uh, farms and stuff like that as possible. I could, in theory, put a farm on here, but I might set up a platform to be a farming platform later. These tend to work best if they're, like, put near each other, though, because they reinforce each other's benefits. Like, if I did this, and this, whoa. I could put a plus 36 market. Uh, so the resort oasis. We're definitely going to place this over here. Plus 56 right there. Boom. Really nice score. Uh, fisherman. Right there. Got a regular house. Maybe find somewhere for it. Maybe up here. It's only a plus eight. There's a plus 15 house. Let's go ahead and pick up the next thing. I would definitely want to get the tavern. I, I never have a good place for a temple. It's, it's one of the things I actually genuinely struggle with. So we want this to be in range with the regular people's houses. And in range with this brewery, which we set up a long time ago. That's nice. So the tavern will get us good value, because we had a little bit of foresight, right? Now, I could place another res resort oasis. 
unfortunately, it can be hard to find a good place for those because um, I'm going to need a platform. I shouldn't have placed all these platforms. I could have put a platform over here. Um, that was definitely a mistake. I kind of jumped the gun on that one. Let's see if we can't get in a little closer. We want to step away. So like right there for a fishing. I'm always looking to look for the most efficient place to place something right now and not necessarily the most place most efficient place to place it uh in totality because I just feel like uh you're just never going to hit that kind of optimization. So like there's a plus 8. It's not amazing, but it's okay. Plus 13. The market would polish this off. There's a plus 43 market here now, which is pretty good. Probably going to have cliff platforms now. There's the temple on the walls. I'm going to skip the temple now because it's a pain in the ass to place. I'm going to skip it for as long as I can. I might turn this into a farming platform. In fact, I will. And there's a plus 16 right there. Plus 15. If I can kind of just slide that in. Excellent. All right. Ah, this is the exact kind of one that I was looking for because I can slide this in here and get like a plus 15 maybe. There we go. And uh, I know there's some good spots around here. Let's have a look. Plus 12. Plus 12. Like 12 is decent. I could take a 12. Water plateau for sure. We need to get one of those. We want to place that over here. Okay, I won't be able to place the resort oasis on that, unfortunately. Walls are good for placing near towns that are basically finished, that you don't have any plans to expand. For example, here's a nice wall. I can get up to plus 16 if I jiggle it a little. There we go. Walls are also really good to place near temples. There's a plus 18 in here. It's got to be a plus 20 if I jiggle it just right. There we go. All right, we've got another shaman. Trying to find a good spot. Should be a plus nine around here. There we go. We've got another field. I'd love to get another granary thing. There's a plus 10. If we slide the hut in, come on. There we go. All right. We are running out of room and we are running out of options. This is telling me that this island is almost done, right? This, we're getting closer and closer to a completed island. Uh, lumberjack. Why well, you got to be such a pain in the ass to place, dude. If I slip you in there, you're plus four, which is more than nothing. There really is not much room. I could maybe just slip a farm in up here. There we go. Okay. Wall plateaus. Yay. Let me get you tucked in there. Hopefully. Resort Oasis cannot fit on that. That sucks. I think a wall plateau that hangs out over the city would be great like that because then we can place things up from above that take advantage of like the entire city's um, abilities. I can just get this to line up on the corner. There is a 21 spot down here somewhere. If I could find it. There it is. Plus 20, plus 24. 
Let's see, where can I get a really high score rating? Right over here, actually. If I could do this. Plus 26, right there. Awesome. Negative score, ow. Trying to find a spot for this. What about the park? What if I tuck the park right there? Give me the score to get what I need. Oh, Jesus. All right, this is, some, this is something that can be tough, is placing the temple correctly. Because the temple has so much stuff that it wants beside it. Like, for example, it wants, like, lots of houses. Like, here's a plus 40 temple, for example. Here is a... So I think the plus 40 temple is like a decent one. It's not amazing, but it's better than a lot of what we can get usually. So I'm going to take the plus 40 temple. And I want to try and place walls near the temple if I can. Like right here, here's a plus 22 wall. Plus 11. Man, it's hard to find a spot. For some of these things. Well, shoot. that enough just barely we're starting to run out though and now we're just going to get random parts we did get the mill which is nice cool we have a couple more houses we can place get that to slide in and connect nicely and we've got a hermit hut. It's a plus 19 right here on the edge. Regular houses, plus 15, all right. Plus 16 here. Plus 12. 18. 10. And, okay, I'm trying to find like an optimal placement of these walls. It can be tough to do, man, you know? Like sometimes things just don't want to be placed in the good spots. Oh, here we go. Here's a plus 24 wall. I mean, it's kind of goofy and weird looking, but gets to the points, you know what I mean? So I think now we've hit a point where it's going to be very difficult for me to get enough points because simply just because we don't have the room. Um, for all of this stuff. I'm sure I, I could have played this a lot better, I will admit. Thing is, once you've placed something, there's no removing it. You can't take it off. You know what I mean? Like, once it's down, it's down. Not much you can do about it. I should have saved, if I had saved one of these platforms to put near my barley, to put another resort oasis on, I would have been in a much better shape. Um, but yeah, I didn't do that. I could have made like an, another amazing resort oasis over here. But, but you know, I'm reasonably happy with this. I feel like we created a town that is uh, it's pretty cool. I'm trying to remember how to zoom in. Um, controls. Maybe there is no zoom in. But yeah, here we go. Uh, I want to say 1,780 score for your first island isn't bad. Like, it's pretty decent. It's pretty damn decent, I gotta say. We could definitely do better and keep going if we had a room. Like, really, this market is the thing. See, the big problem with the market is that it's so big, it, placing it is a pain in the ass. 
But yeah, I'm really happy with this first settlement. So I'm going to save uh, save the game here. That's going to be it for this first episode. We'll go ahead and do the next island in the next episode. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this zen little game of Islanders. I love you all very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.